Ah, people. <laughs> um, Dallas Cowboys. That's second Dallas. Uh, it's uh, what week seven now in the NFL, something like that. Uh, Cowboys just played the Eagles in Philadelphia, and our offense was a little suspect. Uh, our offense didn't play uh, as good as uh, I had hoped. Um, I mean, but we, I mean, we still put, up, I mean, we put up 17 points. But I think the Eagles are like last in the NFL in passing defense or something like that. So we had the potential to put up a lot more. Um, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to. Uh, the refs were horrible in this game, man. If you if you had watched the game at all. Uh, they were holding the hell out of our receivers. Dez Bryant got held like 15 times in the game. They only called it like once. But um, our defense, man, uh, I, th this team that we have right now, in my mind, has so much potential. Just due to the fact that all these guys that are playing for us right now in a lot of positions are fairly uh, are running different schemes and are new people. Like, our entire defensive line, aside from one player, uh, were, were pretty much signed, like, after camp. Like, <laughs> like we just signed a player, like, four days ago, and he was uh, the second string, our backup, you know, on our defensive line. But um, our D-line, I mean, we held the Eagles. We held LaShawn McCoy, who was actually the, uh, the league's uh, leading NFL rusher, held him to only 55 yards, which was beast. Our D-line played pretty good. I still wish that we can get a little bit more pressure on quarterbacks. That was the only thing that we didn't do a really good job of is getting, you know, is getting consistent pressure on the quarterback. But other than that, our defense played lights out. Uh, we held the receivers pretty much to, to minimal yardage. We held Deshaun Jackson in check all game. Riley Cooper, I think he only had like 85 yards or something like that, 88 yards. And, um, uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that we can keep this momentum go into Detroit next week, uh, beat the Lions, and then, um, and I think we have a division game after that. After the, No, my, my mistake. We played the Minnesota Vikings after that. So, um, if we can get those two wins, man, uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking very nice atop the NFC. We are 3-0 in the division, which is very big because the Eagles are 2-1 and in the division, um, even though their record is, uh, you know, is suspect. But one thing that I do want to bring up, man, is the potential of Sean Lee being the defensive MVP of the year. I honestly think that he might be able to get it if he stays healthy. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Sean Lee already on the season, and this was game seven that we just played, he already has, I think, 88 tackles, almost 90 tackles. He's almost at 100 at the halfway point of the season. That's a lot of damn tackles. <laughs> That's a whole lot of tackles. He's playing lights out for us. He's he's um you know he's the captain of our defense. You know he's he's like a, he's our Ray Lewis or Brylin Erlacher or you know whatever you know whoever you want to uh, you know uh, reference him to. But uh, he's a beast, man. And I think that if he can stay healthy, um, I really think that he might be able to get Defensive Player of the Year because he has two picks on the season, multiple tackles for loss. Like I said, 88 tackles. And uh, he's just beasting, man. You know, it's unfortunate that he got hurt last year, you know, uh, for us after six games. But uh, he's back. He's looking really good this year. Um, our defense uh, is looking pretty solid. We have, we've had some lapses here and there, but we've changed our scheme a little bit. Uh, we were primarily a zone team when uh, we first came out, and defenses were eating us up. Peyton Manning, Phillip Rivers, all those guys. But now that we're starting to go to a little bit more of a nickel base um, uh, and playing a lot of uh, man defense against a lot of these teams, we've actually been doing a lot better. So hopefully we can keep the momentum. Hopefully we can go into Detroit and get another win. And then also we can go, um, uh, I think we come back home to play the Vikings. So hopefully we can, you know, get some players back, get some things going on and uh, keep that momentum, you know, going into our bye week. So hopefully that works out. We'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, some of you guys don't like uh, dissecting Dallas. Some of you guys don't really follow football, but I'm a very big football fan. I love football, so that's the reason why I bring you these type of videos because I know some of my followers do like football. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I apologize for my hair, man. My <laughs> hair is a mess right now, but um, I'm about to go hit the gym, and then I got to go to a little uh, birthday event for my friend's mom here in a little bit. 
So I gotta get dressed for that. So uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys coming out and uh, you know watching the video, dissecting Dallas. And uh, I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow, um, a regular uh, Call of Duty video tomorrow. Catch you guys next time, man. Peace.